guys, we are going to go over the new Facebook Groups app tonight, and I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. So basically, if you belong to groups on Facebook, there is a new app that was put out by Facebook to make that a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click into the app that says Groups. Once you get into the app, you can see this is a list of all the groups that I belong to, and I belong to a lot of them. So each bubble indicates a different Facebook group that you may belong to. And at the top, you're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, it's going to say search. So you can easily search for a group. So I can type in FIT, it'll pull up different fit or fit type of apps that I have. And in the upper right hand corner, it says create. You can create your own group, family, close friends, teammates, travel planning, club, couple, and custom. So we're going to ignore that. What we're going to do is actually go into one of the apps that we have here. So I'm going to go into where it says, I remember Herondale. So we're going to go ahead and click into that. This is just a local group that I belong to. You have the option to write a post, just like you would in Facebook. You have the option to share a photo. You can show pinned post. And you can scroll through the different post. You have the option to write a comment, just like you normally would. You can like it. You can comment on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and like it. As you can see, I can like it or I can comment. You scroll through. Pretty simple. The upper right hand corner, you have the option you can add the group to your home screen. Notifications. I remember. So it gives the um, explanation of the group. Photos, you have the option here to leave the group or rep report the group. So we're going to go ahead and back out of that. And we're going to go ahead and in the upper right hand corner, again, the three dots. That's exactly what we just left. All right. And we backed out of the group. Now, what I want to show you, this is kind of cool. If I press and hold down on this app on the iPhone, it gives me the option to move the groups around. So I'm going to move the Herondale group. I'll move it somewhere around here. Okay. Whoops. And then I'm going to hit done and it's moved. So it just helps organize things a little bit. So I can have my fitness groups at the top or my most used groups at the top. And as I scroll down, I can have, you know, my groups together that may be blogger um, or YouTube associates and things like that. So that's what I've got going on down there. At the bottom, you have groups, which is exactly where we're at right now. We have notifications. This is going to let you know who may have responded within a post that you've responded to. Discover. You can discover more groups if you don't have enough. I have way too many right now. <laughs> and settings. You can go in here and you can set different settings. So push notifications, group notifications, all that kind of good stuff. I try to turn all my group notifications off because it can tend to be a lot. I belong to almost 100 groups, so it is a lot of work. But this app definitely does help me kind of keep everything together and organized. So that's really kind of it. Um, when I first downloaded the app, it was not easy to find. But just to show you, it is in the App Store right now. And it is a featured app. So it's pretty easy to locate. Okay, and it is right here. It's the second one. Facebook Groups. Click on it and you can download it. Mine says open because I've already downloaded it and it has a pretty good rating so far. Um, I, I really like the app. So if you haven't downloaded it, download it. Let me know what you think. If you've already downloaded it, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. 
love to hear from you. And until next Friday, we will see you later. I hope you enjoyed this explanation of the Facebook groups app, and we'll see you next week.